In early February this year, the U.S. Army announced the termination of its latest initiative to develop a new armed scout helicopter under the Future Attack Reconnaissance Aircraft Program. This unexpected decision marks a notable shift in strategy direction, while also standing out as one of the most significant program cancellations by the department in the past decade. Despite an investment of at least $2 billion and a request for an additional $5 billion over the next five years, the envisioned helicopter will now never take flight. In today's video, we'll take a closer look at the details of the FARA program, exploring the reasons behind its cancellation and the future of the Army's aviation capabilities. Let's dive right in. The United States Army initiated the Future Attack Reconnaissance Aircraft Program in 2018 with the aim of developing a successor to the Bell OH-58 Kiowa Scout Helicopter, which had been in service since the late 1960s and was officially retired in 2014. Despite three previous attempts to introduce a successor, all prior programs were canceled before reaching the production stage but military officials were optimistic about the new program, anticipating it to serve as a model for innovative approaches in acquiring their most complex and expensive weapon systems. They hoped the program would pave the way for new strategies in managing these intricate and costly military assets. In April 2019, design contracts for FARA candidates were awarded to five manufacturers, AVX Aircraft, Bell Helicopter, Boeing, Karem Aircraft, and Lockheed Martin. By March 2020, designs from Bell and Lockheed Martin were selected to proceed to Phase 2 of the competition, with a government flight test evaluation expected in the fall of 2023. The initial plan was to select a successor by 2028. However, as we now know, this trajectory did not unfold. The U.S. Army terminated the program, attributing it to purported developments in modern warfare that, in their view, rendered the FARA initiative unnecessary. So, what are the specifics of these developments that the U.S. Army was referring to? To understand that, let's take a closer look at the mission gap the FARA program aimed to fill. The FARA program aimed to address the Army's top aviation mission gap, armed reconnaissance. Since the retirement of the OH-58 Kiowa helicopter, the Army has relied on the more costly AH-64E Apache and the Shadow unmanned aircraft system. As already mentioned, previous attempts to replace the armed scout were cancelled, leading to the FARA initiative in the first place. In the last decade, the Army cancelled the Comanche program and the Armed Reconnaissance Helicopter program, while a 2013 fly-off for commercial off-the-shelf aircraft also yielded no suitable replacements. So, FARA became a flagship project for the Army Futures Command, tasked with modernizing the force by 2030. Simultaneously, the Army pursued the future long-range assault aircraft, awarding Bell Textron the contract for its V-280 Tiltrotor aircraft in 2022. Despite skepticism about procuring two aircraft concurrently, the Army continued to pursue both programs. Now, reportedly recognizing the evolving landscape, Army officials emphasized the continued need for armed reconnaissance, but acknowledged a shift in technology. Manned helicopters will no longer dominate armed scout missions, with the focus turning to unmanned platforms. According to the Army Chief of Staff, the decision was influenced by the deployment of affordable unmanned aerial vehicle systems in the Russia-Ukraine war. In accelerating the integration of unmanned aircraft systems into the Army, the military branch intends to increase investments in key programs. The Future Tactical Unmanned Aircraft System, the Launched Effects Initiative, and Commercial Small UAS Endeavors. These initiatives involve the development of various unmanned platforms, including the Valiant UAS by Griffin Aerospace and the Aerosond Hybrid Quad UAS by Textron Systems. The primary objective is to access heavily defended areas by employing launched effects, 
small drones that can be deployed from other aircraft. So, what are your thoughts on the U.S. Army's move towards unmanned systems, especially after investing billions in the now-terminated FARA program? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video interesting, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content.